So um, I'm going to be talking about Zeta Chain. Uh, what is Zeta Chain? It's essentially an interoperability solution that lets developers build cross-chain dApps, uh, or as we call them, omni-chain dApps. So Zeta Chain offers a um, solution for developers to just write a contract once, deploy it to Zeta Chain, and this contract essentially has powers to manage assets on all the connected chains. So for example, if a user has an asset on uh, Bitcoin, they can send uh, BTC to a specific address and this uh, BTC becomes available to the contract on Zeta chain and your contract can perform logic and, for example, swap the token for another token and withdraw it back to a native chain. So that's called omnichain contracts. It's super easy to start building with uh, with Zeta chain. If the screen comes back alive, I will even show you that. But uh, Zeta chain offers also an alternative way of building cross chain dApps, and it's through cross chain uh, messaging. So cross chain messaging is instead of deploying a single contract to Zeta chain, you deploy contracts to a bunch of different chains and they're using Zeta Chain's API to send messages with arbitrary data uh, between chains. So both solutions have advantages. Um, the advantage, the main advantage of omni-chain contracts is that it reduces, it drastically reduces the complexity of the system that you're building. So you just have one contract to worry about, um, only uh, state is only in one place. So that's very, um, that's very convenient from an architecture point of view. So it depends. Um, so the question was, should you deploy it to single chain or to all the chains or Zeta chain deploys the contract? Uh, so it depends on which path you're taking for omni-chain contract you would deploy it once to Zeta chain, and that's it. You don't need to do anything to any other chains. It just all works out of the box. If you're using cross-chain messaging, you have to deploy it to all the chains you want to connect. So um, right now, four chains, um, Zeta chain is in the tested phase. Four chains are connected. More chains, of course, will follow. But if you're using cross-chain messaging, you're deploying a contract on all, all four chains, and you're also um, setting an interactor, so you're basically telling um, to each contract, you're telling the counterparty contract address so that it knows which contract to talk to. So it's a bit more involved from the architecture point of view, but it's uh, kind of a... Uh, very well known solution basically right so if you if you have an existing application that needs to be augmented to uh, become cross chain uh, you can use cross chain messaging for like specific areas uh, if you were to build something from scratch i would recommend looking into uh, omni chain contract first because it's just so much simpler and it's the the, the, the killer feature of zeta chain If anyone has questions, let's just jump to questions, I guess, first, which is weird before. Yeah, go ahead. So again, it's uh, like if Omni chain, you just deploy once cross chain messaging, you deploy it to all the chains. For cross-chain messaging, you will be able to send messages between the chains you deploy your messaging contract to. Because, um, so for example, Zeta Chain at some point might support like 20, 50 blockchains. You might be interested only in three of them or like 10 of them. So with cross-chain messaging, you have to explicitly deploy it to the contracts you're interested in. So does that answer the question? Uh, right now, in the testnet phase, only four chains. So that would be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, BSC. Of course, more chains will follow. 
and uh, Zeta Chain is built on Cosmos Tech, so um, possibly it will be IBC compatible. If you're familiar with Cosmos, then this will connect it to even more chains, and uh, we are planning on integrating uh, more EVM blockchains and non-EVM chains, chains as well. One of the advantages, um, so besides omni-chain contracts, the advantages of Zeta Chain include uh, Bitcoin interoperability, so not many solutions, especially decentralized solutions, support Bitcoin out of the box. So from from Bitcoin, you can trigger smart contracts on Zeta Chain, which is pretty cool. And there's very little overhead, and there's nothing you need to do on Bitcoin. You just um, you, you just uh, ask users to send tokens to a specific address, and that triggers a contract call on Zeta Chain. And the other advantage is that it's um, uh, there's no wrapped assets. So there are wrapped assets on Zeta Chain when the process happens, right? So when you deploy, uh, when you send tokens uh, to a TSS address uh, on a chain, ZRC20 wrapped version of the original asset gets minted, but only gets minted on Zeta Chain for the purposes of swapping and working with it. So it's like representations of the original asset on Zeta Chain. Okay, cool. So let's continue with with, uh, with the slides. Um, so I talked about cross-chain messaging, omni-chain contracts. Now uh, I want to show how, well, basically easy it is. So if you go to zetachain.com slash docs, in the developer section, you will see two uh, sections, omni-chain contracts and uh, cross-chain messaging. So here is a complete example of an omni-chain contract. As you can see, it's uh, super simple. Like the only thing uh, you need is a um, Z contract here, a couple of imports, and you need to implement on cross-chain call function. This function gets called whenever tokens are sent to a specific address on any of the connected chains. So for example, if someone sends tokens to uh, a TSS to a specific address on Ethereum, uh, they, um, there are two paths. Uh, these tokens might be just deposited into your contract on Zeta Chain, or if a user sends tokens and supplies arguments in the data field of the transaction, um, these arguments get passed to your contract as the message. Then you can decode the message uh, implement your logic. For example, uh, this contract is super simple. It just would withdraws the tokens to the same chain. Doesn't do much, but it, it shows you an example of how to trigger an omni-chain contract and how to withdraw. But you can, of course, swap to a different token and withdraw to a different chain, or you can mint, chain, uh, mint tokens or Zeta chain. It's really up to your contract, but the the, the logic is super simple. Token transfer on a connected chain triggers this uh, this function call, and that's it. And then you can use ERC20, which is an extension of ERC, to um, withdraw the tokens back. Right now, Omnichain contracts support native gas tokens, as well as ERC20. Of course, more asset types will be uh, added uh, later. ERC20 need to be whitelisted by the chain, and this is not a centralized solution, not a centralized decision. Uh, but the the blockchain is going to be very decentralized, and people are gonna the community is is, is going to be voting on important decisions like which ERC twenty we want to uh, whitelist. If it's whitelisted, a pool will be created internally on Zeta chain so that tokens can be swapped, um, and so forth. So as you can see, there's not much to it. Um, your contract just needs to implement one function. That's that's it. Um, with cross-chain messaging, it's also pretty straightforward. So here you have a few um, things you need to implement. First, a function that will use uh, Zeta Chain's connector API to send data. So you just provide some um, helpful information, like where do you want to send the message to the destination chain. Um, you need to provide things like gas and uh, but most importantly you need to provide the message here is just a text hello world message but you can encode any kind of data you want 
and it will um, be processed once the message uh, once the function gets called um, this will essentially trigger a process where an event is emitted on um, on the source chain zeta chains validators they run nodes of all the connected chains and when they see a, a transaction happening they will vote on zeta chain whether they've observed this transaction or not if enough votes are, are cast the transaction will come go through and will be processed by zeta chain and on the recipient end you just implement on zeta message so if the transaction comes through um you just handle it for example if it's a nft project you might want to um, lock the nft in the send message function right here you um, before connector send you will lock the nft you will mint an nft on zeta message on the receiving chain and maybe send an acknowledgement back to burn the original nft if you um if you got a new nft minted right that that could be but uh, again the architecture is up to you this is just a kind of low level uh primitive for you to be able to transfer val uh, to transfer value and data between all the connected chains um you don't need to worry about zeta chain here at all because zeta chain works as intermediary here so we have a lot of tutorials uh for for everything you can you can see a very simple cross-chain swap and just what is like 30 lines of code um withdraw tutorial um you can also um check out the bitcoin tutorial as well not many projects support bitcoin so this is pretty pretty interesting um what i'm going to show the, the last thing i'm going to show is uh basically how you would start so you would go to github.com slash zeta chain we have a bunch of repos here but i recommend just cloning um, the template so github.com zeta chain slash template when you clone the template you have something like this and it it doesn't have much but it imports a bunch of helpful utilities so if you run npx heart hat you will get a bunch of helpful tools so for example if you need to connect create an account you just heart hat accounts and it will create an account for you can even save it you can um yes hard hat balances this is helpful because we're dealing with a bunch of chains so you need to know uh what kind of tokens you have so on the all the connected chains you can see native zeta and zero c20 equivalents uh, what is super helpful i think is how you get started building so you have a command hard hats um omni chain and what this does is it accepts a name so let's call this contract withdraw and a bunch of um params like recipient data whatever from so what this will do is it will create a contract um that you just need to fill in the blanks right so it's 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 all it's already there for you and you 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 already have a deploy task so you don't need to worry about that and also a task to interact with it so you just executed one command to create a new contract, then you can run um, hard hat compile. Now you can just run deploy. Since this is an omnichain contract, you always deploy it to uh, Zeta testnet. And uh, of course it doesn't do anything right you saw that there's a blink in the in the in the contract but uh um, and boom you, you got the contract deployed and you can interact with it as well so like all the boilerplate code is here and um there are more tasks uh one more useful thing is if you're building with cross-chain messaging we also have um a task for this so npx hard hat messaging um uh, like contract foo bar and this will create uh, a cross-chain messaging contract uh, instead and it has foo and bar here so it already you can already compile it and deploy it to different chains let's do that it, it's slightly different because with cross-chain messaging you deploy it to several chains 
So let's say girly testnet and uh, by testnet. Okay, let's compile it first. And what this will do is it will deploy the contract to all the chains you specify, but also set interactors for all the contracts so that it will tell um, the contract on Mumbai the address of the contract on Gurley. So it kind of wires everything up together. Uh, so you don't need to worry about that. You just um, read the docs, understand how it works, and implement the logic of your contract and send the data you want to send um, through this um, uh, connector send um, Zeta Chains API. So I don't have much time uh, for anything else. I will be available as is the rest of the team um, uh, downstairs at the booth. So please do check out Zeta Chain if you have questions. More than happy to dig into any technical uh, details. Um, if you're going to be building on, um, we have a price for the hackathon more on the website, but please do. Uh, make sure that you're using Zeta Chain's API and actually build something with cross-chain messaging or omni-chain contracts. That's very important. And uh, yeah, good luck uh, on the hackathon. Thank you.